Good morning. I am back with another video. Yes. Today I'm going to be using Taylor of, Taylor of Old Bond Street's sandalwood shaving cream. Right. Now, the smell of it. You got the woody smell. And then in the background, there is a distinctive smell that took me back to my childhood. And I couldn't fathom what well, I knew the smell, but I couldn't fathom. And I'm thinking, what the bloody hell is it? And it's, to me, it's this. Nineteen seventies cousins imperial leather. It's there. Mm. I'm not all in yet, but you can see the original in there. At that time, it was fifteen p. Bloody light. Yeah. Cousins, London, England. Pre pre barcode. And it's there. Strong smell. Exactly as it was in the nineteen seventies, eighties. But yeah. It's the Taylor Old Bond Street's sandalwood. It has a stronger smell, but this is the closest, the original Imperial leather to me, to my sense of smell, but it may be different to you. But you're not gonna go out on eBay and buy a bar of soap to prove it here, but I oh yeah. am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so I've already done the lather, and today I'll be using the R41 with a Lord Tadger. If you want an aggressive shave, put a Lord Tadjam in an R41. Ooh, you feel the blade. Right, wet the face and hope for the best. Stop. Good. I haven't got this mirror right. There she go. I can see my face now. Nice creamy. Mm, there it is. Mm. It's a nice soap. It's a nice scent. So I seen on a forum that oh, I was looking for. I was looking for shaving soaps that were close to um, Old Spice shaving soap, you know. And a lot of things come up, Sterling Spice, Reserve Spice. Soap Commander Endurance and Taylor Old Bond Street's Sandalwood. And one post said, from what I can remember, he said it was 20 years ago, but he said the closest that was to Old Spice shaving soap was Taylor Old Bond Street sandalwood. It has that pot puree essence in the background, but it also has that imperial 
leather essence in the background to me. I can smell it here now. It's nice. Right. You want an aggressive shave? Oh, yes. Oh, you can feel the blade away. Gives you a close shave too. Because I find if you use um, aggressive razors. You tend to be more careful. So then you tend to go a bit lighter. And then sometimes, well, me anyway, you miss, you think, you know, bloody hell, you miss some there, you know. You know but I I tend not to worry about now because I think if I nick myself, I nick myself. It's all part of it. As Paul Humphrey says, there's no closer than blood. True. Oh, it's slick, this is nice. Because mm. that soap, that um, Imperial Leather soap, the original cousin's Imperial Leather, it takes me back to my nan's um, bathroom in my nan's house when she used to look after us when we were children when my mum and dad were in work and you know she used to make our tea and then she used to say right upstairs have a wash um then you can come down and have your tea you know that was you know so she always had imperial leather on the sink always used imperial leather and we go upstairs have a quick wash rinse I'm thinking we would get away with it, you know, just all kids were back like, like that back then, back then. And then we go back stairs and says, let's have a look. You haven't had a proper wash, you can tell. Let's have a look in Nick. Back upstairs, have a proper wash. No tide marks in this house. Because <laughs> they're buggers for kids, you know. You just go, and that's it, down. Now, let's look at your hands, are they clean? Yeah. Both sides. <laughs> yeah. They all made sure that you didn't look like something out of Oliver. <laughs> What they're there for to keep you on the straight and narrow. But it's good memory though. But the trouble is if you add too much water to this buggers it up then it you gotta be careful with the water content well to me anyway some soaps are thirsty and others easy you know 
yeah, but you can still add more soap to stabilize it, but yeah. uh, cross the grain now. Um, this tur jam is good bleeding this. You can feel it. Wow. But you don't get no irritation with it. Well, I don't know. You know, you know, you can go over it too many times. Had myself, yes. I even oh right there, yeah. Twat. Language Timothy. <laughs> oh no, by there. No, I always by there because I always get. Ooh, it's slick as... You can, you can smell in the background that bloody um, imperial leather type smell, but it's it's not exact, but it's it reminds me of imperial leather. It's nice. I like it.
Ih, já era full package. Weepers. Never mind. I'm not going to do that, but, but. got some there.
because I don't want to get water in there because that won't be for my head shape. Oh, Still slipping up. bit there but not much got a good blade yeah good set dry this out Be back in a sec. Bloody wife is ringing with me. Shh, she doesn't see that. Right, I'm back again. Oh, God. Can you bring me a salad? Because you're working, she is. For her friend. Right. Is that? Yeah. That's good. Right, wash this off. Hope I'm not disturbed again. You right, I'm going to have a head shave and I will be back. Well, why didn't I do that before? <laughs> oh, I'm back again. I've had my head shave. Right. right. So... The razor I've used today is the R4A1 with the Tur Lord Turjam, Tajam, good blade, well it is to me anyway, with my yellow Yaki 24mm tuxedo, I don't know what the hell the name of this animal is, I had to look up because I can't find it now because they don't sell it, I don't know. Right, put some witch hazel on. Smooth as a baby's bum. Right, and the aftershave today is Taylor Old Bond Street's Sandalwood aftershave lotion now let's see if this has a sting yes Ooh. it's it's got a restrictor in it which is good not bloody keen on it have a good mm. Not much alcohol on it, but it is a um, bit of a slight. Uh. 
I know that smell. There's a spiciness to it. But it's nothing like the soap. There's some... There's a hint of clove in there as well. Yeah, hint of clove. It's bloody lovely stuff though. Mmm, nice. Lovely. For about, for £26.50 a bottle, it has to be lovely. <laughs> but, uh, yes. You'll be only used now and again. Right, I'll use this one. Because there's no scent on that, really. Oh, that's a bit too much, I think. Oh, I'll do. That's nice. Yeah. So that's the Imperial Leather, classic from 1970s, pre-barcode, no barcode on it, I know, in a cardboard, what we call it. So the sandalwood, the background, very reminiscent of the original Imperial Leather to me, to my sense of smell. To somebody else, maybe different, but to me, that's what it smells like. Well, take care all. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye.